All right, so hood. Way under here. Oh, uh, way under. Oh, boo. Way under there. Pull on the hood for me. There we go. The power barn. Wow, this looks great. The what power barn? That's where the power's at. Right in there. You call it the power barn? Power barn. I like that one a lot. That's where the power's at. I am going use power barn. I like power barn. Grab the clicker. If we don't click, all is lost. If you don't click, we don't click. All right, you ready? I am. Action. Hello, everyone. I'm Christopher, and the guy behind the camera is always Jake. And behind me, 1979 Camaro Z28. And we got the power barn showing right here, this beautiful numbers matching 350. This has a four-speed manual, 10-bolt rear end, 373 gears in back. You got to love that. Look at the wheels. Look at this car. Look at the orange, 17-inch brand-new wheels and tires, air bit. conditioning. Sorry, I was just going to say, the wheel and tire package is a little bit more modern. It, it gives it a more modern look, slightly wider, I think. I believe it is. Lower profile, bigger wheel. Better stance. It so. does look better because the older Camaro is kind of a little jacked up. I'm, yeah. Man, yeah, this looks way better. Oh, we do have a wonderful pictures of the undercarriage, which are definitely online. Take a look at that. This thing's ready to go. Let's open it, shall we? It's got the little door for the gas oh, cap and the trunk. Oh, look at the cute door. And right above the gas tank is the key. There we go. Whoa! Nice floor mats back here. And they say Camaro Z28, which is nice. Spare ridge tire. You gotta love the spare. Tools. Look how beautiful it looks. Nice Man, lining. Nice in here. Very nice really trunk. Nice. That's a nice trunk. Closes nice. It does. Let's open this beautiful door. Take a look at the interior. How about that? I think that sells for me. But I think the best thing to do is take it for a spin. You ready to go? Yep. Let's do it. Here we go. Right, now we're going. You know, this Camaro seems cranky. Oh, man, you just pulled a British one. The pun of the century. It's a terrible pun, but I like it. Oh, wow. And we're off. Silver with the orange and yellow stripes, too. Probably the coolest combination I've seen on these Camaros. I, I think so. Oh. I love them with the stripe package. Oh, wow. Oh, and look, we have, uh, so we have two of these beautiful Z28s. One's white, one's silver. One's an 80, this is a 79. And one's a Canadian build with a weird speedometer that has kilometers. And this one's got miles per hour, so it's the actual speed I'm going, which I like. Oh boy. Sounds good. It does, it shifts real smooth too. I quite like it. and the sun's coming out. Oh, it's like, it's almost for this car, which it should be. It knows that we're driving a sweet Camaro, and it said, you know what, I'm gonna make the day a little bit better for you. I believe the term you're looking for is bitchin' Camaro. Bitchin' Camaro? Yes, that was a song back in the day. You'll have to reference it, unless we get like copyright struck or some nonsense. Oh, wow. Handle's good. Fourth gear. Newer floors, new brake lines, fuel lines, and a new exhaust. And it sounds So the exhaust great. is all brand new. That's why it sounds so good. It does. That's why it looks so good underneath, too. Mm. And I like the color more. That's just me, though. Personal preference. Yes, yeah, silver's better. I've always thought silver was better. It's easier to keep clean as well, which is nice. Which is nice. We have back seats. Yes, for, for some people. Actually, the leg room doesn't look too bad. I feel like I could fit back there pretty comfortably. Now that I'm looking better. at it. This cool Alpine head unit, like you were talking about. Yep, nice. The four-speed shifter. This is a real 70s muscle car. It really is. Very in the 70s. Beginning of the 80s, we're right around the corner. Disco is about to fall off a cliff, and then they gave us this. And Charles Jefferson from Fast you know, Tech Richmond Hydro. You see a lot of the Trans Ams with the fire chicken on the hood and everything. You do. It's a cool, you know, decal package. But I've always been honestly partial to this just stripes on the Camaro. Yep. I think they look great. Nice and simple. You I think, think sometimes the, the Firebird's a little too much. A little oh, too much going on. They're gaudy. They are gaudy. That's Pontiac, though. They were always gaudy. All right, here's the stop sign. The dreaded stop sign. Nissan, but wow, 
You it's know? got some beans. It's not the fastest car on God's green earth. <laughs> no, it's not. James. But uh, <laughs> no, it's, it's not. got the ambiance. It's got the sound, it's got the noise, it's got the nice four-speed shifter. It's got the look. It's still a muscle car, even though it's not the fastest thing in the world. Oh, and look, the stripes still match the leaves on the trees because it's fall. It's a very fall car. You gotta love that. You know what time it is. Oh, I know exactly what time it is. It's a good old-fashioned start. Good old-fashioned start. You know, this is a nice picture for this car. We didn't even talk about that. Do that again. Hi, sorry. Tilt totally wheel. We forgot to have a tilt wheel, and that's important. It, it is. is important. That's a luxury option back in 1979. For our taller folks, definitely an option. All right, let's do All the right. startup. Start it up. It is. Well done and it sounds great. Why don't you take it for a spin? Sounds good. Done.